What is up my friend, Jacob here with another video to help you record better, mix better, and work better. Today we're going to be taking a look at a function of Pro Tools that could help you save tons of time in your life. It's called Strip Silence. And what this tool essentially does is it removes any empty audio from the session, kind of eliminating the need to trim the ins and outs of audio tracks or even in between. Quite honestly, Strip Silence has probably saved me hours every week in my session prep process because instead of having to trim the ins and outs of the audio track, in and out meaning the beginning and the ends of the empty audio stuff and the in-betweens, I just use this function. It deletes everything for me and then I do a quick fade and I'm good to go, you know? So saves me a ton of time. I wanna show you how it works and how to use it. Let's jump into the video. So check this out. I have this session here. I've opened up and imported a bunch of stems for mixing. So as you can see, I'm just gonna zoom in so that we could kind of really see in detail what's on the waves. And you can see there's a ton of empty space, right, with no audio. Now I'm the kind of guy, a little bit OCD in my session prep. I love when things are trimmed and sometimes color-coded, not all the time, but mostly color-coded. But just the fact that all these audio tracks have empty space kind of drives me nuts, so I'm gonna go and trim them. Now, the long way of doing this would be to zoom in and go like this, right? Do like that and I'm pretty quick at this but I can imagine somebody who has maybe a little less experience in Pro Tools might take them forever to do this right so I have to do this for my entire session it's gonna take me you know maybe 10-15 minutes to do this right this is crazy long I don't want to spend that much time doing this instead I want to use a function called strip silence so I'm gonna undo all the changes I just did and the reason I decide to zoom in which you could use up here in the top left corner of your Pro Tools session. There's this little like uh, waveform zoom icon. There's a shortcut for this as well, which I believe is shift option and scroll. So let's say I scroll all the way in, just the fattest waveforms ever, just so I could see that there's no residual noise or like reverb tails maybe that are important that you don't want to trim out, you want to leave. Like for example, the end of this track has kind of this modulated reverb tail. I don't want to chop that out. That's that's important. I want to keep that in there. So what I want to do is open Strip Silence, which you can find in Edit Strip Silence, or you can use the hotkey key command, Command U. And it's going to open up this little window here. Let me show you kind of what it does, and then I'll explain more in detail the parameters. So I'm going to adjust my strip threshold. I'm going to go minimum clip duration, kind of in the middle here somewhere, clip start pad maybe like this end pad a little longer because i don't want to chop any tails and click strip and you see how it just takes out all the empty audio do the same here right you want to make sure that your end pad is long enough so you're not chopping any uh reverb tails or your threshold is high so you're not chopping any tails so something like this once you kind of have the parameters set that makes sense you can just go through it i use the uh, semicolon key to scroll down and the p key to scroll up so you just go through all your tracks. You want to kind of make sure that they're all selected like this. And you click strip. And look at this. I'm not chopping any important audio out, right? I'm chopping only what's necessary. Everything that literally has no audio content. And I'm chopping it right out. The reason I like to do this, first of all, in my sessions, it looks cleaner when things are all trimmed like this. I like when a session looks clean and looks tidy, so I do it like this. Another reason, which is kind of speculative, I don't know if it's actually true, but I was told in my formative years that having an, a clip, even if it's empty, Pro Tools is going to be analyzing it for audio. So even if the track is completely empty, Pro Tools is having to think and analyze for that audio which essentially takes up some computer brain power. So I like to trim all the audio that's not necessary so that Pro Tools doesn't have to think about that track when there's no clip on the track, right? In theory, making your session run smoother. Again, it's speculative. I don't know if it's actually true, but it's what somebody told me, so I've decided to integrate that into my workflow, and I think you should as well. Now, little bonus tip here, if I solo this track, with how zoomed in I am, you could see there's absolutely no audio here. So obviously this really not necessary. It's just background noise. It's maybe just even a plug-in hiss from uh, his session that he exported. So this stuff, you can actually be a little bit harder with the strip threshold. So 
let me go through the parameters. Strip threshold is basically at what point you're telling strip silence to cut audio. So anything below a certain level, it's gonna get chopped. So if you have the strip threshold hyper high, that means it's gonna be cutting a lot of audio. If you have this strip threshold very low, it's gonna leave a lot of this stuff that you see here, this kind of just kind of room tone or, or plug-in hiss maybe that you don't necessarily need. But I find it's always wise to cut less than too much. So to reiterate, strip threshold is the point at which strip silence cuts audio. Minimum strip duration. Minimum strip duration is essentially how much time in between cuts you're allowing in the, in the strip silence. So basically if you have, for example, percussions or snare hits that are happening quite often together, maybe having cuts in between those snare hits is gonna sound unnatural. So minimum strip duration is basically telling strip silence to say, hey, if there's a bunch of audio kind of clumped together with empty spaces in between, you don't need to chop that. Just chop the big empty spaces, for example. As I bring it up in milliseconds, you see that it's, it's not gonna cut that in between space because I'm telling it, hey, the time between clips, if it's more than 600 milliseconds, don't cut it, is essentially what this parameter is doing. So it can be handy if you're trying to not chop reverb tails in between your audio, but you wanna be a little bit tougher on the ins and outs of the audio. The clip start pad parameter is essentially how much space you wanna leave before the cut. This is especially handy if there's maybe a little bit of a fade on a hit or a fade out, like a reverb tail with the clip end pad. It's basically a parameter that's telling strip silence, hey, don't cut up to 300 milliseconds before and 600 milliseconds after. So it's gonna leave a little bit of that empty space in case you have tails or fade-ins or whatever. And that's essentially it for strip silence. Very short video, I just wanted to show you how much time this can save you. So instead of going through, like I was doing before, and cutting everything, let me undo all this. Instead of going through and cutting everything like this, okay, okay, you know, taking me ages, literally saving me years of my life with this function, Instead of doing that, I just hit Command U, it opens Strip Silence. I set a couple parameters to my liking, to my taste. Something like this. Clip Start Pad, Clip End Pad. And we just hit Strip. And we just go through everything. Boom, boom, boom. Look how fast this is. It takes me absolutely no time to go through this whole session. Now I'm chopping all the empty audio. And then like I mentioned before with the uh, strip threshold, there's kind of this empty noise at the beginning of this audio clip. There's nothing here, remember? It's just empty. There's just a little bit of modulation, maybe a plug-in hiss or something. This stuff here, I don't need this stuff. So just by modifying the threshold, I can go ahead and chop some of that unnecessary noise at the beginning and at the end. Just always be wary not to be chopping any reverb tails or delay tails that might be important in the song. So that's it, very quick video demonstrating Strip Silence by Pro Tools, a tool that could save you hours of your life every week. Instead of editing everything manually, you use Strip Silence to eliminate all the empty audio in your tracks. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Before you go, I wanna tell you about something very special. If you did not download it already, I want you to go pick up my free PDF gear guide. Now this is a PDF gear guide made specifically for people getting started in audio who are not sure what to buy or how much it costs. In the PDF I break down everything you're gonna need to start your own studio to record yourself or record your clients. I give you a bunch of different price points, what you need, what to buy, how much it's gonna cost you. Again, it's absolutely free, go pick it up. Go to www.mixwithjacob.com forward slash gear guide. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next week, peace.